this is a good video. But I'm gonna have to disagree with you. What's policing the police? Let me tell you what's policing the police. The police. I understand what I say this and I'm gonna tell you like this. If you allow a criminal to vote on everything, anything that can be voted on, especially crime, do you think a criminal will vote to allow criminals free from prison? Do you think a criminal will allow the things that they did to happen to their family? No. In the case with the police, who would police the police? Police officer would not just walk up to somebody and shoot somebody. Not a real police officer. Not a true police officer. Because when you take somebody's life, I don't know if you have, but when you take somebody's life, you are not exactly the same person anymore. There's something that changes in someone. If you change your whole... It's kind of hard to explain. In other words, a cop wouldn't want nobody to walk up and blow his mama's head off. Thus, the average cop would not just walk up and shoot somebody. Why would a police officer shoot somebody? One, he's a racist. Doesn't give a damn about young people or minorities. And life is bleak, so fuck them. Bang! Two, he has a special agenda, a hidden purpose beyond the call of duty as a police officer whose sworn job is to serve and protect. Bam! Three. It is duty. It is his, his duty to kill all minorities who disrespect the code in which he lives by. Four. Propaganda led him to believe that in situations like this, he may be killed. Therefore, there was a fear. Fear. The fear of death. The fear of being attacked or, or the fear of being disrespected by a youngster. Fear. Stress. Drama. And lack of training. Or an accident. Nobody sets out to go kill somebody. Period. The ramifications of what your actions may be may be more than you can handle mentally. Death is not something that you wave around freely. Just give out because you can. Young people drive up and down the streets every day and shoot at each other. And nobody really gives a fuck when just another nigga kill another nigga. Or some white kids kill each other. Fucking around. It's not until the so-called establishment do something fucked up. You can grab a pe bunch of people and beat the shit out of them with your badge in your hand. And nobody gives a fuck because you whooped these people's ass because they were suspects for something. But there is no excuse for laying a man down and then stretching a man out, if you understand what I'm saying. There's no excuse for that. I'm not defending that. I'm not defending saying that these people should not protest. But please, there's other ways to protest without running out in the street. 
Because running in the street gives people a reason to fear and be scared. An opportunity to get even. An opportunity for the sick, crazy ones to go shoot somebody. An opportunity for fear to overwhelm someone's mind who's not ready for a situation. The opportunity for other people to be shot. I'm not going to give somebody an opportunity to kill me. For what? For what? My life is more than any motherfucking words of wisdom or some justice I can scream out at somebody. You can't do nothing to me. I'm not fucking guilty. I haven't done nothing. Fuck you. You can't prove it ain't nothing worth my life. And when you have your life in your hands and you know other people make mistakes, then why put yourself in position for something to happen to you? Even if you was just trying to have a good time, even if you was not involved, speaking up sometimes makes situations go bad. I'm not saying don't speak up. I'm saying know when to speak up. You can see a group of people getting rowdy, acting stupid. You know some shit just went down. You see all these police over here afraid, stupid, untrained, armed. You know a dummy and a gun. A dummy and a gun in the hood means what? People get shot. A dummy and a gun in real life means people can get shot. Just because you've been trained to use a gun, you haven't been trained to be scared with your gun. You can be you can be arrogant and make the mistake this man made. You can know everything about procedures like, you know what, I'll scare the shit out of this guy. Pull the gun, safety's not on pow, gun goes off. A million things could have happened. But if people automatically jump to the conclusion that this person did something like this solely for the reason that this man was black and Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this man's rights was taken away because he was executed. Regardless if it was a mistake or not, there is no mistake. You can say this. If someone is holding your hand and you are tasered, are they shocked too? So if two people are holding one man and you reaching for your taser and you tasered this man while other, two other officers are holding him, will they be shocked too? Did you pull your gun to say, shut the fuck up, be quiet? Try to scare a motherfucker? People aren't scared by guns no more because guns have been placed in our houses and our lives. You might not have a gun, but I bet you shot one on that video game. You've murdered a many people on the video games. See, the de sensitiveness. I mean, de, de sensitive. It's. It, I keep on getting mixed up, and I forget words. People are desensitized to violence. In other words, violence don't bother nobody from the hood no more. People, black people have seen so much violence in the neighborhoods and on TV and throughout life. It's just like violence, okay. So I'm not advocating not going out and protest. Just know what you're doing. Don't draw trouble to nobody else. Don't create something that you're going to get everybody involved in. Martial law is no joke. Curfews is no joke. Protests by all means in California, New York, across the world. No man needs to die. But this man's family, they got to pay for a mistake he made. See, that man, whatever he did, his whole entire family is feeling this shit. And they didn't pull the pit trigger. They didn't put anybody on handcuffs. They didn't put anybody on the ground. They didn't go to work that day. They didn't put on that badge. They didn't put on that uniform. That man did. He made the mistake solely by himself and not his family. So let his God sort it out. Because we're mere men. And you've been too.